Hi, kamusta? This is Sir Eman, a public school science teacher. Sa video na ito, pag-uusapan natin ang last topic para sa quarter 1 ng Science 9. Ang tungkol sa photosynthesis and cellular respiration. Kung gusto mong matutunan ang dalawang napaka-importanting processes na ito, make sure na panoorin at tapusin mo ang video na ito. Kung bago ka pa lang sa si channel na ito, make sure na basahin mo muna ang reminders na matatagpuan sa comment section sa ibaba. Ang topic natin ngayon ay under ng fifth most essential learning competency in Science 9, which is differentiate the basic features and importance of photosynthesis and cellular respiration. So sa video na ito, pag-uusapan natin ang basic features ng dalawang processes na to, and after we will be comparing them side by side. Ready na ba kayo? Sige, simulan natin. I want you first to take a look at these pictures on the screen. First picture, a couple, dalawang tao na nag-exercise, nagja-jog. Next picture, an athlete, a swimmer, who is um, obviously swimming. Third picture, a, si a singer trying to hit a high note. Kita sa expression itong babae, ano? Next, you have a child who is thinking, thinking about something. Natin alam, pwedeng tungkol sa module. Pwedeng yun, ano, ano iniisip. Next, a woman who is writing, at the same time thinking about what she is going to write. And lastly, you have here dancers who are performing their dance step. Okay? Now, here's the question. What do you think is required for us to perform this different activities? Ano kaya ang kailangan natin para magawa natin ang iba't ibang mga activities na to? Physical activities, paglalaw, even pag-iisip. Now, uh, kung alam mo ang sagot, pwede mong sabihin o pwede mong isulat sa iyong papel. If you've answered energy, then you are actually correct. Ano? In science, we define energy as the capacity to do work. This is basically what we need for us to, to perform the different activities in our daily life. So, para magawa din yung mga ating ginagawa sa araw-araw, uh, o kahit nakaupo ka lang o natutulog, ano, there is something that we need. Kasi itong energy is required, uh, most especially by the cell, in the cellular level. Now, this actually leads us to the next question. How do we obtain energy? Paano ba tayo kumukuha ng energy? Saan tayo kumukuha ng energy? So, ingat, ingat natin kung meron kayong idea. Pwede nyo sabihin nyo sagot nyo o pwede nyo isulat sa papel. Okay? Now, if you've answered through eating, then you're actually correct. Para sa atin, kumakain tayo para magkaroon ng energy o mino. Ano, kumakain ng, ng uh, meat, ng gulay, ng karne, ng, ng prutas para magkaroon ng energy. Napakala naman yung mga halaman. Paano sila nagkakaroon ng energy? Kumakain ba sila? Singat, yari kung meron kayong idea. Now, kung ang sagot nyo ay through sunlight, then you're actually correct. Ano, actually, it is the sun that is the main source of energy on this planet. Okay? For organisms who depend on other organisms for food, ang tawag natin sa kanila, or sa atin, dahil kasama tayo dito, are heterotrophs. We're not capable of making our own food. We depend on other organisms for food. Okay? Whereas this organism, uh, kasama yung plants, are capable of making their own food. These are what we refer to as the autotrophs. So itong photosynthesis at cellular respiration, ito yung mga processes na kailangan na undergo ng mga living thing para magamit nila yung energy from the sun. Okay? So, simulan natin ang uh, ating discussion sa photosynthesis. Ano nga ba ang photosynthesis? So, basically, when we speak of photosynthesis, it pertains to the process of converting sun's energy into chemical energy in the form of sugar or carbohydrate. So, given the term itself, photosynthesis, uh, photo means light and synthesis means production. So, it's production of something, of sugar or carbohydrate using sunlight. Okay? Sugar or carbohydrate, which is a form of chemical energy. Saan ito nangyayari? So, nakita natin sa pictures, sa mga halaman, meron pa bang iba bukod sa mga halaman? It occurs in plants, some photosynthetic bacteria, and algae. Okay? Yung ating mga lumot. So, itong mga to, these are what we refer to again as the autotropes because they're capable of making their own food. Okay? So, photosynthesis, process of synthesizing sugar using sunlight. Okay? And it basically takes place in auto 
microbes, plants, some bacteria, and algae. Now, sa nangyayari sa mga plants, uh, itong photosynthesis. It actually takes place in the chloroplast, an organelle containing the pigment chlorophyll that absorbs light. Doon sa nakaraang video natin, pinag-usapan natin ang tungkol sa nucleus. Ano, sabi natin, doon matatagpuan ang uh, chromosome. Ngayon, pag-uusapan naman natin ang may kinalaman sa chloroplast kung saan doon nangyayari itong photosynthesis. So, here's a um, larger picture of the chloroplast. You have the outer membrane, inner membrane, and the mga structures pa niya sa loob. Okay? So, this chloroplast contains the chlorophyll, which is the pigment that absorbs light. Okay? It also is the one that gives plants its green color. Okay? Now, aside from sun, meron pa bang ibang ginagamit sa proseso na to? This process actually involves carbon dioxide. So, yung uh, gaseous waste material na ating ina-exhale, as we have discussed previously, together with water, we're acting with light energy, again, to produce sugar, and at the same time, oxygen. So, another byproduct of this process is oxygen. Okay? So, with this, we will be able to come up with that chemical equation, which is this. So, photosynthesis, uh, itong nasa um, left part, these are the reactants or the ingredients. After naman ng arrow, ito yung mga products ng process natin. So, kailangan dito, reactants or ingredients will be carbon dioxide that we exhale. So, ito ay pumapasok sa ating mga halaman. So, together with water, reacting with light energy. Produces, so ito light energy, produces sugar. In this case, in the form of glucose, pwedeng other form of sugar, and at the same time, oxygen. Okay? So, this is the process we call photosynthesis. Now, this process is actually consists of two stages. We have what we call light-dependent reaction, and the other one is the light-independent reaction. Now, pag-usapan natin kung ano ang pinagkaiba ng dalawang stages na ito. So, given the term itself, light-dependent reaction, so nakadepende sa light, this is the stage that requires photons or energy from the sun. So, dito sa stage na ito, ginagamit yung sunlight. Okay? It takes place in between tylacoids. Kung so, sabi kanina, di ba sa chloroplast, pat sabi dito tylacoid. Itong tylacoid, ito po yung matagpuan sa loob ng chloroplast. So you'll be able to see here, pancake-like structures or dislike structures na magkakapatong, yan yung ating uh, tylacoid, yung bawat isa dyan. So in between sa mga structures na yan, doon ang nangyayari itong light-dependent reaction sa membrane ng tylacoid. Okay? So, Ano pa ang ginagamit dito? So, sabi yan, light dependent. So, it makes use of light and at the same time water to produce oxygen. So, basically, this is the phase where oxygen is produced and released to the atmosphere. So, aside from oxygen, it produces two energy-carrying molecules. You have ATP or the adenosine triphosphate. ATP, tandaan nito. This is the energy currency of the cell. This is the form of energy na magagamit na ng ating mga cell. So, sa light-dependent reaction, nagpo-form siya ng ATP. Aside from ATP, it also produces NADPH or nicotinamide adenine nucleotide phosphate hydrogen. This is an energy-carrying molecule that is needed uh, on the next stage, which is the light-independent reaction. Okay? So, sa light-dependent, kailangan nito ng light. It happens in between thylakoid. It produces oxygen and these two energy-carrying molecules, the ATP, which is the energy currency of the cell, and the NADPH, which is needed on the next stage. So, punta naman tayo dun sa next na stage. We have light-independent reaction, or also referred to as the Calvin cycle. So, given the term itself, light-independent, independent siya ng light, ibig sabihin, this stage does not require light. It does not need light anymore. Yung light, ginamit na yun sa unang stage. Okay? Ang tawag na iba dito would be dark reaction. Pero yung tawag na yun ay misleading. Kasi inisip ng iba, ito yung nangyayari lang sa gabi. Kung saan walang liwanan. Actually, nangyayari din po ito sa umaga. Just that, hindi siya nangangailangan ng light. Pero even in daytime, nangyayari po ito. Okay? So, light independent reaction or Calvin cycle, it is the stage of photosynthesis that does not require light. Okay? So, siya nangyayari? in the stroma, still inside of the uh, chloroplast. So, kung ito yung thylakoid, yung mga disc-shaped structure na yan, yung space naman in between these stacks of uh, uh, thylakoid, yun yung stroma. So, itong Calvin cycle, nangyayari siya, di yan nasa 
labas. Pero labas nitong thylakoid pero nasa loob pa rin ng chloroplast. So ano na yung nangyayari dito? It uses carbon dioxide. Diba kanina sabi, kailangan dito yung carbon dioxide, water, and light energy. Sila yung mga reactants. Kanina sa light reaction, ginamit na yung uh, water and light energy. Dito naman, gagamitin yung carbon dioxide together with NADPH, one of the energy carrying molecules na produce sa light reaction, to form or produce your carbohydrate or sugar. Kanina na-produce na yung oxygen, sa stage naman na ito, mapoproduce yung sugar. Okay? So, gagamitin ng cell or isa store in the form of starch, pupunta sa mga uh, stem, sa ibang parts ng mga halaman, that will allow them to grow. Okay? That's basically what photosynthesis is all about. So, you probably have seen how important this process is. Ano? Um, it actually reduces the carbon dioxide in the air. Uh, at the same time, it produces the carbohydrate that we need uh, can be source of our energy and also gives us the oxygen that we need. Pero ang tanong, o kapag kumain na tayo ng mga halaman, how do we make use of this stored energy, this chemical energy in the form of sugar or uh, starch? Paano ba na papakinabangan yun? It's actually through the process we call cellular respiration. So dito naman tayo sa pangalawang process, cellular respiration. So, for cellular respiration, this is the process of breaking down complex molecules such as sugar to release energy in the form of ATP or again, adenosine triphosphate. So, itong cellular respiration natin, ito ay iba dun sa respiration na pinag-usapan natin under respiratory system. Dun kasi, when you speak of respiration, it means breathing or exchange of gases. Pero when you speak of cellular respiration in the context of bioenergetics, when we're talking about energy, it's actually the process of breaking down. So you have your stored energy in the form of sugar, you break it down to release that energy in the form of ATP, the energy currency of the cell, para magamit na ng ating katawan. So yung product na sugar after ng photosynthesis, it'll be broken down through the process cellular respiration. So unlike yung photosynthesis which takes place in autotropes in plants, and, um, photosynthetic algae, uh, I mean bacteria and algae, itong cellular respiration, it actually occurs in all living things. So, kaya sa cell nangyayari naman, itong cellular respiration. So, if photosynthesis takes place in the chloroplast, cellular respiration takes place in the mitochondria. Hopefully, tanda pa, no? The powerhouse of a cell. We have here an artist rendition of an animal cell and a plant cell. So, si plant cell, siya lang, comparing the two, yung may chloroplast. Ano? Pero, pareho siya ay meron ng mitochondria. Or mitochondrion. Yun yung singular. So, this is basically the place where cellular respiration takes place. Okay? Larger picture would be this. So, ano pa ang involved dito aside from the sugar? Which is being turned into ATP. So, dito, it involves sugar and oxygen. So, kailangan natin oxygen kasi ginagamit din ng mga cell to to make use of the stored energy sa mga bagay na kinakain natin. Okay? Reacting, so they react together to produce carbon dioxide. That's uh, the waste material. Water and ito, yung energy in the form of ATP. So, after cellular respiration, using that sugar and oxygen, meron na tayong energy na magamit natin sa iba't ibang mga activities natin. So, again, balik tayo sa chemical formula you have here the reactant side, ito yung mga ingredients, and then the products. So, nagkabaligtad, ano? So, ngayon, ang atin ng nasa reactant side, ang kailangan would be the sugar. Okay? The, the chemical energy. Together with oxygen. Kaya, we, uh, we need to inhale oxygen. That brings, uh, or results to carbon dioxide, production of carbon dioxide, water, and of course, the energy in the form of ATP, which is needed by the cell. Uh, there are uh, different steps or stages. You have first glycolysis, followed by the pyruvate processing or oxidation. You have the Krebs cycle or the citric acid cycle. And lastly, you have the electron transport chain. So after this, yung ating sugar will be turned into uh, energy in the form of ATP, which will be used by the body. Okay? Now, napag-usapan na natin yung mga basic features ng dalawang processes na to. Ngayon, i-compare na natin sila side by side. So you have here on one side photosynthesis and on the other side cellular respiration. 
So, ito muna tayo sa photosynthesis. When we speak of photosynthesis, it occurs in plants, algae, and uh, photosynthetic bacteria. Cellular respiration, it occurs in all living things. Okay? So, lahat ng mga bagay na may buhay. Photosynthesis, you make use of sun's energy and then you convert that into chemical energy in the form of sugar. Kabalik tara naman yung cellular respiration. Yung sugar naman, you broke, you broke it down to release energy in the form of ATP. Okay? So, magkabaliktad sila. For photosynthesis, it takes place in the chloroplast, the organelle containing the chlorophyll, which absorbs light, and cell cellular respiration, it takes place in the mitochondria. For photosynthesis, you make use of carbon dioxide, water, and light energy to form sugar and oxygen. And for cellular respiration, you make use of sugar and oxygen to form carbon dioxide, water, and energy in the form of ATP. Now, this ends our video on photosynthesis and cellular respiration. Hopefully, this has helped you to understand the basic features of these two important processes and to compare and contrast them side by side. Na rin ang ating huling video para sa series natin para sa first quarter ng Science Night. So, makikita ulit tayo sa mga videos natin para sa quarter 2. Maraming salamat. Para sa mga hindi pa nakapag-subscribe, mag-subscribe na para lagi updated. See you on the next videos. Bye everyone.